Hello, my name is Brad Sexton. Today I'm going to talk about um, setting up your OS deployment in, inside BitFix. Uh, I'm a technical advisor for the Mid-Atlantic region. Uh, you can scan the QR code to add me on LinkedIn. Now that your MDT bundle has uh, created or finished uploading, you'll notice that you have the MDT bundle along with your Windows 10 OS resource. This is the same ISO file that we stored in the, the OSD ISO folder. Um, so the next step we want to do is we want to upload a uh, Microsoft image or an ISO file. Uh, so what we want to do is go to Manage Images and Drivers and go to your image library. Here we'll select the Import Image button and then we're going to select an ISO file. So now we can browse to the folder that we uh, used to create our, our bundle uh, for the OSD ISO folder. And select the Analyze button. Uh, this will do a series of steps where it's going to un uncompress the image and then upload the, the direct WIMP file from the ISO file directly to the uh, Big Fix dashboard. Once the image is finished uploading, you'll see that the image is now uploading in the background. And over here, you might see a warning showing a, a green upload error that means it's, it's uploading in the background. Now that we have a, a WIM file or an ISO file that we can utilize, now we can create a uh, bare metal image profile for this, uh, this image. So I will click on the Create Bare Metal Image Profile down here. I will name my profile. Select the additional windows I want to deploy. Uh, type in your organizational name, the owner. Uh, you can set your keyboard time zone of where it's deploying. You can set some host name rules. Um, you can do some dynamic rules. So say we just want to name the PC by the serial number, you can do something like that with just the, uh, the caret and then the SN. Or you can do IP address, a uh, number of things that you can do there. Uh, we're going to select our MDT bundle. We'll uh, select our final action. Um, and then we could also join the domain if we would like. Um, I'm going to set the administrator password. And then we have the ability to join a domain or set it into an OU. Um, I'm going to just keep it in a worker for now. We can, um, we can uh, put in a product key as well or uh, leave it blank if you utilize a KMS server. Um, prompt end user for properties is a, a good one in case you want to um, have the technician name the PC while you're building the PC. So if you want to, if you want to uh, do something like that, you would prompt the end user for properties, and then this would prompt the end user to name the PC before it deploys. Um, we can assign relays. We set set some client settings. Um, there's some powerful stuff you can do with client settings and um, layering on applications after the fact. Um, and then another good one I like to do is set a deployment password. Um, this way, if you're in uh, uh, your uh, your network is open and it allows uh, you can image on the floor with uh, you know on certain subnets. Um, this way, a user can inadvertently uh, reboot and boot to network on their machine, and then they're being prompted to image. And then sometimes they don't know what to do, so I set a simple password there. That way they would need to know that you need a password in order to image the machine. That way, someone's not inadvertently imaging their machine. Um, we can set some BitLocker stuff where uh, you want know, to set TPM, set a key, uh, that kind of thing. Um, one thing, another good one I like to do is set the high performance power plan. That way the machine does not um, go to suspend mode after about 30 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever the Windows default is. Um, so I'm going to hit OK here, and now we have an image profile created. 